Hello everyone, welcome to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is the BAFTA's red carpet is synonymous with glitz, glamour and outlandish outfits. However the 2022 ceremony saw celebrity arrivals cause onlookers to sigh in disappointment with their surprisingly subdued and boring ensembles as they arrived at London's Royal Albert Hall on Sunday. It follows claims that celebrity attendees were advised to dress respectably due to the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine. The event saw the likes of Benedict Cumberbatch, Daisy Ridley and Jesse Buckley hit the star-studded photo call. But according to reports, celebrities were unanimously planning to dress in black in advance. Several senior showbiz agents have advised stars to dress respectably, amid fears attention-grabbing dresses and suits would appear distasteful in light of the Ukraine conflict, a source told The Sun on Sunday. The last thing they want is something like Lady Gaga's infamous meat dress or anything too controversial. And Janet Street Porter took aim at the event's organizers writing, it's business as usual. The organizers clearly believe we've got through COVID, let's carry on enjoying ourselves. Wouldn't we respect them more, if someone back at Mission Control had the guts to stand up and say, let's call the whole thing off until peace is restored in Ukraine. This backslapping and awarding is grotesque. The nominations for the BAFTA Awards were announced last month with June, The Power of the Dog and Belfast leading with 11, 8 and 6 respectively. Dennis Villeneuve's star-studded sci-fi epic landed a slew of technical nods, along with a nod for the top prize for Best Film, while Jane Campion's Dark Western and Kenneth Branagh's Irish biopic follows close behind with 8 and 6 respectively. It comes after explosions were heard on the outskirts of the western Ukrainian city of Lviv after Russian forces launched an attack on a military base just 12 miles from the Polish border, killing at least nine people and injuring dozens more. Vladimir Putin's forces launched a missile strike on the International Center for Peacekeeping and Security, also known as Yavoriv Military Complex, just before 6 a.m. this morning. Initial reports suggested the base had been targeted by eight missiles, but Maxim Kozitsky, governor of the region later confirmed 30 cruise missiles had been fired, killing nine people and injuring 57. The base has previously been used to host NATO drills and up until recently has housed foreign military instructors, although it's unclear if any have been caught up in the strike. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.